get the show on the road. What's up, everybody? It's me, Malady Burst. Today we are going to be doing a game of Nuclear Throne together with my good friend, Shade Jacket. I had a little trouble. Oh, there we go! Um, we are now on. I think. Um, I'm probably going to get some messages during this, and it's probably going to be really annoying. But I can't turn them off because I need to see Shade talking to me because he doesn't have his thing on. Are they in the same game? Okay. Uh, since it's just starting, I'm gonna start off with my main plant. Okay, yep, here we go. I'm plant. Oh shit, we're both purple. I don't know how to change that actually. Uh, this is the Nuclear Throne Together mod, which uh, actually changes it to an online game. I'm gonna let Shade get that shot then. Um, this game normally is local co op only, but this mod makes it so you can play with anybody. Two player online. Yes, only two player. Uh, it'd be a little chaotic with four player, honestly. Um, I wouldn't mind though. I'd play the shit out of that. So I think. Uh, ooh. Two player though was probably a good choice for this game with how uh, tight the levels are. It's ain't exactly Battlefield, you know. These aren't huge. Expanding levels. Oh no, Shade's on the side. Ammo. I'm gonna try not to get any pickups so unless I can get all of them. Shit. Uh. That's my guts. I didn't see what they got. After this, I'm definitely going to switch myself over to uh, a different color if I can. Now, of course, you share... Um, you share your, uh, what's called... plutonium or radiation levels. Very lax stream. <clears throat> um, haven't done videos in a while because I just, I don't know. Uh, 
kind of feel like I found my groove. I've been doing my webcomic instead. It's a lot. I feel a lot less stifled. Oh, that was a mistake. Oh. Whoops. I didn't click that. Let's see real quick if I can, uh... Nope, can't. Oh well. I'm sure you guys know which one it is. But, yeah. This is one of those lax, like, chatting streams where I can chat with the people watching and shit. Not talk too much about my life or anything, because... I don't know, I hate those... I hate, like... Let's players and shit who... Only talk about what's going on in their life and stuff, and it's like... Here's my update video, and it's like, okay, cool. It's fine... Oh, shit, I didn't mean to take that. Oh, wait, he's got plenty of ammo. I'm out of ammo. But it's fine to talk about your life in Let's Play, but there's a few Let's Players that I watch. I'm not gonna name names. Really, okay, it's really only one. But, who, like, they basically stop Let's Playing and only talk about their life, and it's really annoying. But, I mean, you know, it's too easy to like, do whatever they want. Yeah. this time. Your uh, upgrades actually apply to both people, so... <laughs> We're big sharers on this stream. We like to share things. Our upgrades, our radiation levels. Whoa! I'm gonna pick this time. I want less any HP. <coughs> it's be very useful. I'm also thinking about doing some, uh. What's that game called? Tricky Gallery tonight? It's a bonus single player? Or if I can, like, find a multiplayer game online, I can do that, I guess. I'm trying to get into some more multiplayer games, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm running out of shit to play, and I only like playing with people I know, you know? I don't like playing with randos and pubs. I've been trying to get into, uh, Dungeon Defenders, and... I've been waiting way that Orcs Must Die, uh, Unchained. I love Orcs Must Die, so... Actually, I was considering just. I don't know if I can stream Orcs Must Die. I'd love to if I could, but. Um, I'm getting a. What's it called? The big room chest tonight. Because it's uh, gonna be the 20th in two minutes here. And then I think at 2 a.m. I can get my new chest for my daily. And it'll actually, uh be one of the chests, the rune chests that are worth five dollars to buy in the store, but if you play for 20 days, every month you get a free one. So that's pretty sweet. You have to load the game up once a day, though. <laughs> I hate that when there's two good power-ups, you know, which do I get? 
you know, on the flip side, that also means there's no wrong answer. I don't even know where they are right now. <gasps> mm. Sorry, Shade, I'm taking this one. I ain't taking no flak either. Let's do some Unreal Tournament 2004. But not really, we're actually just playing the Wave Drone. Oh shit, I could stream that. That would be fun as fuck. I love me some YouTube 2 k That's. whatever. I almost said 2K14, like it's fucking LeBron James NBA 2K14 basketball. Yeah, fuck it. Try and make jokes wrong by the boss. Can't do either well. Oh yeah, I'm definitely gonna take the HP. I didn't realize I had one. Call me the seeker. Shit! Fuck. I hate these guys. You know that, you see this game. They probably tweeted I was doing this, huh? Ooh, let's check please. Thank you. I'm being real reckless and not playing good tonight. I haven't played in so long. Life's been stressful. Oh. oh, balls. I'm gonna blame everyone but me on that. Yay, I'm back. Oh, shit. Oh, I need my plasma gun back, please. Plasma gun, please. Ooh. Right, no ammo. More energy? More shells? What even killed me? This time, I'm going to play as the frog. Oh, don't got time to freeze. This character cannot stop moving. But they can also do this. Ooh. I wish they'd were on a mic so I could just grill them for what they just did. It's 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I'm getting it. Oh, fuck you, buddy. They can have the... They can have the just slugger. Ooh, a slugger. Well, I didn't really get a choice back on. Worth stating, uh, I don't think Shade played this super whole lot. Uh, I have 100 something hours, I can't remember, like 140 or something. Uh, although I barely ever played this character, I've never actually unlocked this character. I got lucky and, you know, got the mod, which gives you all the characters, even the ones that you want to on, have on the main screen as selectable. Whoops! Oh no, we missed the thing. <coughs> Snake. Wario flies around by farting. Oh god, does it hurt teammates? <laughs> this is gonna be fun. So I'm never doing that shit again. What if I play the skeleton? Skeleton!
Actually, wait. Can you not change skin in multiplayer? That's stupid. <laughs> if they throw their sword again, I'm gonna take it and leave them with no weapons. Oh, I kinda put them on hard mode, I didn't realize that. Now these fuckers are gonna come after us. Ooh, I should do a, ch a chicken run. Oh, Dog Samurai is here. Hey, Dog Samurai. I feel bad. Dog Samurai said they were wanting to play Overwatch tonight. And I, I'm doing this instead. But then again, they play Overwatch a lot, and... Every time I play Overwatch, I play with them, so. We can always, you know, play some Overwatch tomorrow or something. I don't know. Oh, this is gonna be a handicap for both of us. Shit, I'm sorry. I didn't. Oh, I shouldn't pick Rogue. <coughs> um. What, what do we pick? We're both playing as really bad characters to play co-op with. Yeah, this game is dope. It's one of my favorite Dark Sand Uh It's actually the Humble Bundle right now. If you give 10 bucks, you get this and a bunch of other real good games. Like... Get that? Ah, oh, damn it. Um, it also has, like, Super Time Force, which is a game... But I was, I've heard wasn't great, and so I put it off for super long, and I got this bundle and just tried it, and yeah, um, I don't know why I slept on it for so long. Come on, come on, come on, oh shit. There's some real free health. No, no, the he the health, the health. Oh. oh, the health was right there. Pick whatever. Oh. Ooh, a wrench. Now we can both. Be oh, yes. Yeah, I'm my rope right now. Just for sentimentality. I would love to make a costume in this game. Probably a rebel. Rebel, rebel. Oh shit. <laughs> Ooh, a crossbow. My favorite, I, I love the melee in this game, how it, it will, uh, you can hit weapons, not weapons, you can hit bullets back. It's super satisfying. I hate these bullets, fucks. My former superior officers. Oh fuck, what if there was a run with two frogs? <laughs> I wonder if you're, uh, you're poison hurts each other then. Because if it does, that'd be a great challenge. I know I've said it here before, but I've always wanted to make a game that plays like this, but it's four player, online, and um... And it's not a roguelike, it's actually a... Shit! It's a shit game. No, it's a um... Like a mission-based kind of thing. What? Okay. How did you ever think that was going to work? Oh, shit. 
yeah, um, Dog Samurai says, makes me want to play Enter the Gungeon. Um, I would say this is kind of like the precursor to Enter the Gungeon. And, uh, <laughs> it's, it's, um, Enter the Gungeon is, is sort of a more refined kind of experience. This is more of an arcade game. I thought Enter the Gungeon was going to make it so I'd never play this game ever again. I thought I was going to be like, okay, fuck nuclear throne, Enter the Gungeon for life. Uh, I got about 50 hours in Enter the Gungeon. And then I was like, fuck this, and went back to nuclear throne. I like, there's nothing wrong with Enter the Gungeon. It's just, it's super hard, and... <clears throat> okay, there are some things wrong with it. One thing, I don't like how co-op is mean to the second player. And they do that as a joke, but it's a funny joke, but you shouldn't let your gameplay suffer before a joke, you know? There's nothing wrong with a cultist, I just... It'd be cool if it didn't do that whole shitty... I don't know. Games should always make the multiplayer players all feel like they're on the same level, otherwise you get that whole kind of fable companion thing. It's like, oh, you know... He doesn't get to progress any, but, you know, you do. Let's fuck that. <laughs> this is also much shorter. You can play this. One, it never ends, so if you're good, you, you can play for a long time. But, um, but this game, you know, your runs... My longest run is 15 minutes, whereas Enter the Gungeon, on average, I'll play 40 minutes and then die, and I'll be like, great, wasted all that 40 minutes in my life. Also, I can do this. That was a waste. that health on me. I'm dying here. Okay. <coughs> I'm gonna let Shade pick all of them from now on. Oh, the, sh the soundtrack is pretty good, Dog Samurai. My only viewer. <laughs> um... It actually has an ending song if you choose to not loop and just beat the game. Like, you can beat the game or you can continue and keep going and it'll get harder and have new bosses and keep going. But, um, if you choose to just beat the game, it has an ending song. And I'm not going to spoil it, but the ending song is beautiful. It's one of my favorite songs in video game history. It's so so jarring because it's not like anything else on the soundtrack and it's amazing there's also a hidden song that's a rap and usually raps in video games are god awful this one is great not going to spoil anything else about that though Whatever one you want, Shade. Even though now I definitely say the two on the left are the best. No! <laughs> this makes you want Oakless. Oklos game just came out. It's another Devolver game like this one. And, um... You know, it's that crowd rioting game where you control a crowd of people instead of just one. So it's kind of like playing Rogue, but to a crazy amount. So 
Those are some of my favorite both design wise and like play wise and character wise, like their backstory is really cool. Because all the characters in this game are like, like A plus on the designs and everything. I love them. I mean these are very harsh on character designs, so that's kind of my favorite thing. I design a lot of characters. I've always done it since I was a kid, so sometimes I can be very harsh on games and stuff for having bad game design, bad color schemes, like that. And I was very harsh on that Dust in the Elysian Tale game, because the color scheme kind of, I don't know, kind of hurt my eyes to look at. I've heard it's a fantastic game, but this game, I don't know, the design is so varied. And this game's just an all around an A+. <coughs> also, uh, it's got a butt. Crystal is the original uh, purple gem with big ass. So, take that, Amethyst. From Steven Universe, not that one. Not that one. Uh, fucking ninja guys. Ooh, a jackhammer. Oh, I wanted to show off the jackhammer. Okay, I think I'm... One more round. I'm sorry, I I can't read a word that Mothra is typing. Um, can we do double chickens? Uh, but no, Dog Samurai says, as, as you go deeper, are the effects you get increasingly negative? No, all the effects are pretty positive. Um, having a bigger butt is definitely not a negative. Uh, no. But all the effects are positive. Um, the last one you get... It's different for co-op. It's a lot better in single player. Um, is a ultra, and you get to pick between one of two. <coughs> so like plutonium hunger, plutonium and, or I'm sorry, rads and drops such as ammo and health will fly at you. Mothra says, if your rodent-related puzzle game includes Eminem, it's, uh, bad raps. I don't know why they included the, uh, is this Jeff Goldblum doing this joke? Yeah, Drake recently called Eminem the best rapper, and, uh, man, fuck you, Drake. Eminem sucks. <laughs> Oh shit, sorry. <coughs> I know you can't hear me, but maybe if you watch this over again, you'll hear me go sorry. Assault rifle, but fuck that shit, because I can just throw it. Ha! Ha! Throwing actually does a lot of damage. <laughs> Come on, more HP from spawn help kits. No, you idiot. That was actually not a bad one. It shouldn't have been uh, one of those turkey, or not turkey, those beef sticks. I got one of those equivalent, Jack Link's equivalent of a, uh, a Slim Jim. I think they're called squashes. It's a beef squash. That's the only logical reason I can think of why they would call them squashes. That's just a weird. Like I know Sasquatch is their mascot or something, but that's still really weird. <coughs> Get your gun back, you. <sighs> Whatever. 
adventures in baby city, am I right? <laughs> Did it say adventures in baby city? That's a much different movie. It's like it's like uh, Planet of the Apes, except it's a city of babies. Okay, no, not gonna lie, I almost legit just called Planet of the Apes Ape Escape. Oops, sorry. After this run, I'm still gonna stream, but I'm gonna close the stream for a few minutes. I might do some, uh... I might do some, uh, Tricky Towers. I just got that recently. It just came out recently, so, I mean, how would I get it? <coughs> I should have taken their sword and dual sworded. One thing that's, I like about this game is that there's no clips or you know, magazines or whatever the fuck you call them. Um, but oh fuck no! What do I do? Ah! Oh. Well, indeed. Anyway, I'm going to get off. I don't know if I'm going to stream anything else. I'm not sure yet. But yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, this game, I would say, it used to be worth $12, which is how much it's always charged because it's never gone on sale. But they decided to finally put it in a bundle um, just recently. It's in the newest Humble Bundle. I think it's, I can't remember, like 17 or something. But it's ten dollars for this game, Super Time Force. Let me just look it up, and make sure I get it all right. Yeah, Super Time Force, Octodad, Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time. Definitely recommend Lovers. Oh my God, I love that game. Uh, Galaxy, The Beginner's Guide, and Lethal League. Of those games, I have not played Beginner's Guide, but every other game on that list is great. So yeah, definitely. Even if you just give a dollar, Lethal League is worth ten dollars. So. All right, see ya. What's up, yo? Back at it again at Krispy Kreme. We are playing Tricky Towers, which is like a Tetris-style game, which is what everyone else says. And guess what? It's not. It's not Tetris, and it's not not Tetris. And it's definitely not not Tetris 2. What it is... It's a game where you gotta build a tower, dummy. Sorry, having a little 